Bruce Compton, Tower Lane. Bruce, the Boise, Idaho racer, 655 on the side of, yes, a fast pack 442. You know, I have a Hot Wheels like that. Love that car. One of my favorite cars I played with when I was little. Okay, I still play with it, but that's beside the point. Rippy gives him the red light, making Bruce Compton onto the next round. Bruce took out Camo round one. Now he takes out Rippy here in round two. Matt Keelman has got the 70 Nova with the 350 small block under the hood. We'll have to face Bruce Compton in the Oldsmobile. Now from the factory, the 78 Cutlass was a front wheel drive car. It's not front wheel drive anymore though, is it? Check this out. That year Oldsmobile is a sister car to the Chevrolet Citation. Remember those? And it's Bruce Compton who gets the win. Matt Kielman's Nova is out of here. Jerry Barnett and Bruce Compton. Tara. Quarters in control bracket, and unfortunately for Terry Barnett, a red light instead of a green one is Terry's demise. Bruce Compton's little black holds will go to the next round. Semi-final round of Pro Bracket, baby. Two black cars roll into position. Is it Jim Staley or Bruce Compton that will go to the final? Staley roll up from behind with the Oldsmobile. To his benefit, Compton's got the better reaction time. At the top end of the racetrack, it is the Brewster. Compton gets it done and rolls to the final round. Okay, pro bracket, the final round, baby. Steve Stewart and Bruce Compton. So the head start goes to Compton. The old style 653. Bruce Stewart's a 579 dialer. Wheels up for Stewart. The chase is on for Steve as the Chevelle to close the gap on the Oldsmobile. And Bruce Compton is your winner. 654 on the 53 dial. Good for the win. Bruce Compton will roll in next. Pretty proud to be a winner. Last night. It was costly, though. He had to buy dinner for the whole family. But hey, he won. He got the trophy. It's all good. As he faces Andy Tabor in a great round one matchup. 
The Malibu driver is dialed 743. Bruce Compton a bit quicker at 651. And Andy Tabor fouls out in round one. Sending Bruce Compton to the second round by default. Next up, Tower Lane, 748 to dial in for Todd Hill in the 64 Comet. All the way from Boise, Idaho, his first Wally for a long time racer, the legend out of Boise, Bruce Compton in the far lane in that beautiful 78 Cutlass 442. Todd Hill, Tower Lane, Bryce Compton, Far Lane. Compton is first to wall into his name, Far Lane. Trying to make it a back-to-back -back weekend, and he would do, like nothing better than to get a round win here, and he needs it as a nice 12 light for Bruce sends Todd home here in round number two. Still looking for the remaining cars in the next round of Super Pro to the lanes, please. Super Pro, we do need you. As uh, we now head to Pro Bracket and Bob Camo versus yesterday's champion, Bruce Compton. Camo out in front in the pretty 39 Chevrolet Business Coupe. <laughs> 